Hey, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Ozchris, here with reviews on Black Widow number two and Venom number 11. So starting off with Black Widow, uh, second issue by the, the Soska twins. So cover, I like the cover, Clayton Crane, love, love the covers that he does. Although this doesn't happen. Uh, sadly, this doesn't happen. You don't see, uh, you don't see Black Widow and uh, Tiger, I believe her name is, uh, teaming up together to fight some thugs, unfortunately. So, continuing on from the previous issue, uh, uh, Black Widow is confronted by uh, the Pirate King, uh, telling her, you're going to pay for what you did to my boys, Red. We're going to have some no restraints play, and you're going to have to play by the Pirate King's rules. All these sweet little things are going to bleed for you. And uh, this leads to Black Widow just beating the hell out of them, uh, all by herself. And But she uses this... Uh, she eventually uses this as to send a message to those who uh, either watch or partake in uh, no restraints plays that she's coming for you pretty much and uh it's a it's a great moment so continuing on we see and apart from just the uh black widow of natasha uh just killing everyone uh which will be seems to be the main part of this her new series is just uh tying into like no restraints uh, this is Nat's back and she, uh, she's just, she's just gone. She does not, she does not care about the no killing policy anymore when she was an Avenger. It's just, uh, I'm just going to do what I want because it's right. In her mind, it's right. But we're seeing more of her like, oh, so reconnaissance, uh, going undercover, trying to learn more about, um, what's going on in Madripoor, more about, uh, no restraints play, which, uh, she's a, which succeeds with one who is able to give her a, uh, personal access card needed to a uh, needed for no restraints play and this also, also later on leads her to uh finding a victim of um no restraints play and uh nrp yes nrp uh and it's a it's a great kind of emotional tense moment of uh black widow finding this child having been forced kidnapped to be part of no restraints play and then you also see it from um the kid's point of view as well of uh being tied up and then having her hands cut off and eventually escaping as well and this will help black widow with identifying at least one of the people that uh is responsible for nrp and i'll leave it there uh we are uh before we do we we I have a little, we have some few cameos, some from villains who will be meeting this so-called new prince of Madripoor. You have uh, Sabretooth, which is weird because I didn't think it was Sabretooth when I first, first saw him until um, until uh, Baron Zemo uh, says, very clever Sabretooth. I was like, okay, uh, I can kind of see it now, but so we have... Uh, Zemo, we have Sabretooth as well, Taskmaster, although Taskmaster feels, I mean, he's he's supposed to be in ASM, he's helping uh, Craven with, uh, which will eventually become Hunted, so unless this, I know when it, it's going on, Taskmaster in two places at once, maybe, uh, but who knows, uh, oh, art, uh, almost forgot about the art, uh, I really... The art, the art is actually good. I would say the art was slightly better uh, in this issue, issue than the previous one. There are, but there are moments when the art is really good, especially this part of a uh, Black Widow driving down, and then you see her, you see all the thugs she beat up and she tied up to a, the car that's just complete, almost completely damaged, or well, at least windows smashed, etc. All of that. I think the art was definitely at its best, but. Overall, this was definitely a good issue. This was better than the first one, in my opinion. I really enjoyed this issue, and I'm definitely going to be continuing more with Black Widow. So if you haven't checked it out, do check it out. It is a really good series. So on to Venom number 11. So I got the uh, 
the variant, the the David Gibbons, what's that his name? David, yes, David Gibbons uh, variant, the the Watchmen homage, tying into the whole um joke that Cates and Stegman have where of uh it's better than Watchmen, so <laughs> I know eventually they'd have to have some homage of some kind. So I got the, so yeah, I got this one. It's a nice homage cover. Funny enough, doing a better homage than most of the legacy lenticulars did. But, uh, but the, uh, the standard cover that's also there, it's, that's also another good cover as well. So most of the story takes place in, uh, Eddie's subconsciousness and the symbiote is uh, making him uh, look through moments of like his me- moments of his past of, of his uncle dying and it's telling him oh it's uh, he's infected with, he, with the abyss is like I oh, know he he's he died of cancer and while this is going on the maker has, is trying to figure out what's going on and as he says uh Killing him to find out what's killing him. Hmm, quite ironic, I suppose. Alas, such is the burden of science. So he's going. To, he's prepared to kill the symbiote to find out what uh, is going on with Eddie, etc. But um, the main part of this is that uh, Eddie has a confront confrontation with Venom, and what he realizes is that Venom has not only been affecting his recent memories. It seems is also affecting memories longer than that. Uh, it's revealed, uh, given that when uh, we're introduced to Eddie's dad and his uh, younger half-brother, they don't remember who Mary is, Eddie's sister. We find out why. Venom invented her. Venom invented Mary and that she died of cancer. Uh, it also invented that his uncle died of cancer and its proper personality is now back the and it reveals that it did all of this affected his memories is because he it didn't want to be alone as it said we were scared uh we're always scared uh, it didn't want Eddie to leave, leave it it needs i think this has always been a part of like the symbiote especially with venom it it doesn't. It always needs a host. It needs to be connected to, to someone or something. So. But uh. But when Eddie finds out about one particular thing, he wakes up and tell, and tries to get Maker to uh, to let him out so he can find uh, so he can find Dylan. And I'll leave it there. So art, art was art was really. I really liked the art. It worked well with the atmosphere, the tone, the setting of the book. Uh, uh, Kassara and Stegman were doing the art with this one. Frank Martin was on the coloring. They did a pretty good job with the art and the coloring on this. But definitely it was another good issue. Uh, the the reveal at the end, I really actually didn't ex- uh, expect that reveal. So I'm wondering to see how that uh, plays off with uh, issue number 12. Uh, for some reason, I motioned for two. I meant 12 because it's issue, this is issue number 11. So issue number 12, we'll see how that goes. So that's it for Venom number 11 and Black Widow number 2. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Mm-hmm.